All right, so this had to do um, with alerts and notifications and based on uh, parent versus child, uh, who gets notified or whatever. So um, can one of you please just uh, shortly give a short synopsis of what's supposed to happen and what you want to happen? Sure, do you want me to do that, Tanya? Yeah. Sure, so hi everyone, my name is Abby. Um, and this is for my dissertation and we're hoping to send an email to parents and I don't have the parents um, email addresses, the teachers at the schools are going to be sending it out. So I need to use that sort of general survey link and then I need to collect their email addresses and then send them a link so that their children can fill out my survey. And so what Tanya and I were working on was an alert um, that would pull from the consent form the parent email address so that um, then that parent got the right link to the survey for their kid. All right. Okay, so let's look at the alert. So we started this and so we're saying when they complete the, uh, oh, and I'm sorry, is the parent consent form a survey? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So when they've uh, completed that, then immediately, just once, you're going to send out um, to, you're going to send to the parent at their email address. It's going to come from you. Uh, and here is your subject, and the message is whatever. And you're going to send the survey URL, child assent form fills this out. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you want to know what to put in here? I no, think. that was my original question to make sure that I was um, using the right format in attaching the link. Oh, can you speak up just a little bit, Tanya, because we can't hear you very well. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's okay. I'm right at the speaker. I'm yelling. <laughs> so okay. the question was to make sure that I have created the right link, that I'm not giving misinformation. So I'm using the survey-URL and then giving the actual instrument that I want the student to use to get to their to get to their survey. Right. So, you know, I think the easiest way to make sure that you check those kinds of things, um, you're going to be sending which one? This child assent form. form. So, if I were you, I'd go to my automated invitations. And, you know, you can see the survey link and survey URL or um, better yet, you could uh, in your alert and notification, I think that you have an opportunity to look at the smart variables and you can see uh, if you want to send out an instrument, um, it's survey dash URL colon with the instrument. And um, there are some examples there, but basically survey URL colon. And then as you were doing here, you, you take the name of the instrument, no capitals, no all spaces are um, replaced with underscores. And, and, and there is your email link. So this, this should work just fine. Did you test it? Um, no, I haven't. Oh, okay. I, cause I would... All, right. All right. Well, it'd be, you know, I no, need we're... to just see if it worked. So you had confirmed it with Ariana, um, set up. Okay. So, uh, if we look at the project setup, let's just make sure a couple things. 
Um, you've already got the email address uh, set up. So if we Now, one thing, this, since this would, this was supposed to go out as a survey, but it's not set up as a survey yet. Is that right? No, it's set up as a survey. I'm going to save and exit this for the moment. Oh, so I could have come in here and opened it this way. That's what I should have done. That way, these are automatically going to um, Well, here's my email. And this is where it took me. Okay. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So all you need to do is fix up your language and your email. Other than that, everything works fine. 